What's up awesome YouTubers, Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys and today's video I'm going to do another kind of horror movie related video. Uh, last time I showed off my autographs, this time I'm going to talk about some magazines that I have. Um, I have a huge collection of horror movie based magazines, stuff from Horror Hound, Fangoria, Rue Morgue, and a few other magazines. Um, that I want to cover today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and staying positive, and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos I'm making. I have a lot more videos to come, you know, Blu-ray videos will be coming in the future, and other topical videos as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get started. I'm going to cover probably the one that I don't have the most of, and that is my Rue Morgue uh, magazines. Um, some of these actually I got from my buddy uh, Jason or Resident Vania, so shout out to you brother. Um, he sent these a long time ago. Um, I've collected magazines for maybe close to 10 years. Uh, love them. I love getting different editions of them. I think it's fun. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I got uh, some of these from my buddy Resident Vania. Um, and some really cool ones, so, you know, I'll show you the ones that he got me. Uh, this is one of them, and this is Rue Morgue's Nightmare on Elm Street one. Uh, I believe this came out when the remake was coming out. And it shows the new and old Freddy. So, ten years ago, which is crazy to think that the remake came out ten years ago. But, uh, yeah, I really like that magazine, like the cover of it. Very cool. Uh, this one I got maybe two years ago, almost two years ago, and this is when the new Halloween movie was coming out. Right there. Love that artwork. Big Laurie Strode fan. Love Jamie Lee Curtis, and I think that's just fantastic. And then this one I got because my buddy Brian, uh, Crazy Fed Ethel right there. There you go. Right there, the blue right up top. There you go. Um... He had a uh, article in this issue, so I picked that one up. So, but yeah, very cool. Uh, like I said, not too many Rue Morgue magazines. I don't really collect them too much. Uh, they're a little bit pricey, so I only get the ones that I really like. Or if I come across stuff from them that I like, I'll pick it up. Uh, but next, we're going to do the Fangoria magazines. Uh, this one I got. I got actually a lot of these from my buddy uh, Resident Vania. Uh, but the first one is when The Crazies was coming out, the remake. And this pretty much kind of covered most of the remakes at the time. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Piranha 3D, The Wolfman, Night of the Demons. So that's just really cool. And again, some of these are like over 10 years old, so it's pretty fantastic. I like looking at these. Uh, this issue, I'm trying to think. This is their 300 um, kind of their 300 issue magazine so it's like an anniversary magazine so awesome there uh this is really neat because it kind of covers a lot of stuff that was coming out um i think this was like early 2000s maybe so that's very cool uh another uh fangoria magazine that covered two remakes friday the 13th and my bloody valentine 3d Awesome. Uh, this one was 2000 or 2001. I have this in kind of this plastic here, but that is the 200th magazine from Fangoria. So very cool. Uh, I love these because, <clears throat> sorry, these are magazines from the 80s and the 90s, and I think these are fantastic. This is when Phantasm 2 was coming out. But a lot of sequels were coming out around that same time. And there's that. Phantasm 2 might possibly be my favorite of the franchise, but I do love that magazine. Um, this covered, you know, Monkey Shines, Hellraiser 2, Poltergeist 3, Child's Play. So, very cool. Uh, old issue, but I love those. Uh, this is when, I think 1990, when Maniac Cop 2 was coming out, Sam Raimi's Dark Man, and the Night of the Living Dead Tom Savini remake. It's awesome. 
And then, of course, you know, this one's probably my favorite one being, you know, involves Halloween. And that is when Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers was coming out. So, awesome. Very cool. And then, real quick, before I get on to the Horror Hound magazines, um, I picked this one up when Scream 4 was coming out. So, this is almost 10 years old. But Entertainment, Entertainment Weekly's Scream Returns issue. So that's fantastic. All right, so let's go on to the Horror Hound ones. And I have a big pile of them. I actually had a lot more. And, you know, I gave some away, ones I wasn't, like, too crazy about. Um, but these are definitely a lot of my favorite ones. Uh, the first, I think, three or four are magazines that I actually got from the convention. So if you went to the Horror Hound weekend conventions, they don't do it now i don't think but like if you were a vip member you would get like really cool um magazine issues and these were exclusive to the conventions uh my favorite one being when uh jamie lee curtis did her only convention and you got this so that was cool and uh, one of my favorite memories was meeting her and going to this show so that is a fantastic issue you know it covers halloween Terror Train, Prom Night, The Fog, um, and that was a really awesome uh, show, so very cool. Uh, this was probably my first one that I got um, as far as, you know, magazines at a convention, and this is when they were doing a Friday 13th Part 6 reunion as well as Pet Cemetery. so I thought that was fantastic. Love that. I think that was like 2012, maybe, or 2011. I uh, love this one. Um, it was a, a theme of like women in terror or women in horror movies. So this is really cool. And I just like the colors and love the collage. So that was fantastic. And then when they were doing, I believe, a Freddy vs. Jason reunion. There was that one right there. So... Awesome. Um, and then we get on to the, um, you know, issues that came out. Um, you know, these have numbers on them, but I'm not going to put them in, you know, the order of the numbers. I'm just going to go through these. I love a lot of these covers. I think they're fantastic. This one being definitely up there as a favorite just because I'm a big fan of this movie. And that is The Birds. So really cool. Tippy Hedren. Um... Just awesome. Um, I believe my very first one, not, no, not my very first one, but one of them was this one right here. Uh, the Thing. Love that. Uh, this one's really special. Uh, this is when Wes Craven passed away. They did an issue on him which is fantastic. Stephen King. Uh, this is a really cool one. Christine. Love that movie. Great movie and a really cool issue. Um, and then like you get like the cool stuff like this. So like Scream Factory titles that were coming out at the time on the back. So awesome. You got... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface right there in the front, which is awesome. Uh, David from The Lost Boys. You have a Rob Zombie issue. This is really cool. Uh, this one's uh, definitely my, like, top three just because, you know, it's, you know, 1980. You know, they... This magazine covered 1981, the year of, like, great horror movies. And that's that issue, issue right there. So, very cool. Uh, this is my very first one. My buddy Resident Vania gave this to me, sent it to me. Really cool. I believe my very first, like, horror movie magazine. So, has Jason on the cover. Love that. Fantastic. Always will ch cherish that. Then we got the issue that covered Psycho and Alfred Hitchcock. 
Awesome. Got one with Hills of Eyes on it, which I think is fantastic as well. They, you know, there was a lot of them that had really cool um, artworks on them, and I think those are the ones that really stand out the most for me. And the last of my favorites, and the last one to show, is Elvira. So, very cool. But anyway, guys, sorry I didn't go through the magazines. I didn't want to make this video uh, too long. Um, but those are just, you know, some, you know, uh, some part of my collection that I wanted to show off and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but I'm going to be back with more videos to come. I think I want to cover the back shelves probably in my next video. I love this background. Fantastic. Um, and I want to cover what's on the top and what's inside the shelves. So hope you guys enjoy uh, this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoy videos to come. So uh, like always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, in with the positive, out with the negative. Stay positive, guys, um, especially during this time. Stay safe. Um, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. You guys have a great Wednesday. And uh, go eat some Skittles. All right, guys. Bye.